HBO and two of Cinemax. Somebody up there likes you. Welcome to Hee Haw 82 with special guests David Trudell and Jelly West. Sesame Street, Oscar the Grouch. The Shot, the Million Dollar Man. And starring Buck Owen and Roy Black. Gordy Tapp and Roddy Stoneman. Minnie Pearl and Grandpa Joe. Junior Sample. Lisa Todd. Don Heron. Lula Roman. The Hager Brothers. Marianne Gordon. Riddle and Felt. Misty Rose. Gaylord Sartain, Buck Trent, Kenny Price and Linda Thompson, the Nashville Edition, the Buckaroos, Charlie McCoy and the Hee Haw Band, John Henry Ball, Reverend Grady Nutt, Mackenzie Cole, George Lindsay, Chase Randolph, Diana Goodman, Nancy Trailer, Slim Pickens, Kathy Baker and Buford. I'm Roy. And I'm Buck. It's time for Hee Haw. Yuck, yuck. With country fun. To make you hoot. Welcome, America. Salut. <laughs> you did last week. I hired a fella named Bruno who's going to make sure that this place stays clean. And he's going to be able to cover a lot of ground because he's on roller skates. Bruno, bring that trash can in here. Now, now, now everybody, I want you to put all your leftovers in this here trash can. Not in here, you don't. Hey, folks, it's Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. Hey, 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 tell those people to stop applauding. They sound too happy. Oh, it's easy to see why they call you Grouch. Yeah, well, it isn't very easy to see why they call you Slim. <laughs> What are you doing here in Cornfield County, anyhow? Well, I won second prize on a quiz show. Two weeks on Hee Haw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was first prize? One week on Hee Haw. <laughs> hey, that's an old joke. Well, this is an old show. <laughs> uh, well, as long as you're here, uh, how do you feel like singing? Nah, no. Nah. Um, feel like playing? No, no. <laughs> Dancing? No, no, no. Hey, don't you ever have a good time? Yeah, like when I'm having a bad time. <laughs> well, just what's your idea of a good, bad time? Well, this'll do. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you just stick around here and watch old Roy and the gang 
They're just about to do a real happy harmonica number. No, it sounds too happy for me. <laughs> too much fun. We'll see you. <laughs> I'll bet you Roy and his hee-haw harmonicas will change this old boy's mind. And here they are! <laughs>
remind you, one day Grandpa Marty saw a dramatic show on TV called Hee Haw. <laughs> touched it and turned it into corn and made everybody happy. I turned my corn wife into liquor. I thought the tea was the haw. What did you get? Well, you can see for yourself. It comes through here every week at the same time. <laughs> Monday, I soak my dentures. Tuesday, I brush. Wednesday, I soak. Wait, all you need is denture cream. Why soak when denture cream gets dentures twice as clean and has minty mouthwash ingredients? All you need is denture cream. Every day. There's a full moon over Tulsa And I hope that it's shining on Nights are getting colder in Cherokee County. There's a northern passing through. I remember green eyes and a ranch of dawn, but remember it's all that I do. Losing you left a pretty good cowboy. But
Time to give him this time. Oh, he'll be out in the back. Now, what do you mean? Well, he's in jail, ain't he? My brother was very ill. Oh, really? What was the matter with him? Appendicitis. Oh, how'd you like it? What? A pint of cider. <laughs> I'm now, loaded with well, Listen, I care not for the levity, but if you would like to hear the particulars, I'll be glad to tell you. Well, then, do tell. Lay the peculiars on my purse. My brother was attending this social function last evening, and during the course of the evening, they passed the refreshments, and my brother helped himself to a piece of cake. Oh, why didn't he eat the pie? I love pie. I, I don't know why. I like pie. Now, Roy, don't... Well, I guess with all that frost, it'd be way too much for his stomach. That's right. Uh, now, Roy, Dad, let me, don't interrupt me. I'm trying to explain this thing. Well, he'd been better off just eating a couple of donuts, you know, especially just the whole. Yeah. Don't gain weight and a cup of coffee. Good night. Yeah, well, then, big old... Roy, let me finish the story, please. Now, in this cake, there was a raisin. One raisin. I don't know. Well, you ought to. It's your story. What kind of raisin? <laughs> California raisin. The raisin was seedy, and he didn't uh, chew it properly. A chew? Did he have a cold? <laughs> In other words, he didn't grind it properly, and it went down the wrong organ. Oh, your brother was a pipe organ grinder. <laughs> what happened to his monkey? Wait a minute, Roy. <laughs> so they took him to the hospital and removed his veriform appendix. Well, it serves him right. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, he should have had it put in his wife's name. <laughs> There's a fine line between comedy and tragedy. I believe that joke just crossed over the line. <laughs> <laughs> a real hot country group, The Shop. You 
wife uses sign language. Sign language? Yeah, she signs for this and she signs for that. <laughs> yeah, credit cards are just a sign of the times. <laughs> George, how come you're just wearing one shoe here? <laughs> huh? Come on, George. Drop Gaylord the line. <laughs> George, how come you're wearing just one shoe there? Did you lose one? No, I found one. <laughs> Not that line. What is your tax problem, Grandpa? Well, I got a letter from the IRS, and they want me to pay in four quarters. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Well, I was wondering if I should send in the whole dollar all at once and get it over with. <laughs> He come home after a hard day in the brand and shorts, and for supper, all there was was this note on the table. Your salad is in the garden. Where can you hear the best country music? Nashville, Tennessee. Buffalo, New York. Phoenix, Arizona. It's easier to agree on where to get it for less. Walmart. Like John Michael Montgomery's Kicking It Up. And Pam Tillis's Sweetheart's Dance. For the self-titled release from Toby Keith. Country music costs less at Walmart. Always. If it's music you like. This is the place. And if it's stars you love. Send it to me, Buck. If it's any good, I'll send you a check. Oh, no. First, you send me the check. Then, if it's any good, I'll send you the song. <laughs> you know, Maynard, you'd be a pretty good dancer if it weren't for two things. Just to what? What two things? Your feet. <laughs> Exactly seven days ago, I hit him so hard, I knocked him clear in the next week. So he should be coming by any minute now. <laughs> Good thing about that boy, he's prompt. Here's David Frizzell and Shelly West.
Texas State of mine Been gone way too long This time California's too damn far You and that old long star I'm in a Texas State you with the funniest video ever. Now here's how to order. Call the number on your screen and ask for the Foster Brooks video for only $19.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling for tape. These fancy figures again. There's fancy music everywhere heard throughout the land but here to there none can compare to Yeehaw's All Jug Band. Let the north wind keep blowing, we'll be 
safe cause we'll be a knowing that our love is safely locked inside our hearts let the world keep on turning let our fire keep on burning let our love keep on growing to the sky let our ship of love keep sailing keep the storm clouds far away hand in hand we'll walk together side by side Minister of Humor, Reverend Great enough. Oh, I'll do my best. The, the funniest things that ever happened in church to me are the things that really happened in church, and he just gets so tickled. A Methodist pastor in Waco, Texas, many years ago, was really kind of a, an unusual and uninhibited kind of character. He'd leap out in the aisle and preach to you and for, forget the verse he meant to quote and run back to the pulpit and check it out and then dart right back to the place and finish his verse. He was just kind of funny and carefree. <laughs> Sunday night services were when he kind of swung on a high trapeze to the glory of God. He was just all over every place, and people just showed up by the multitudes to see what he'd do next. One night in the service, he learned that one of the women in his church had a brother from Ohio <clears throat> who was a minister and was in town, and he said, I'll call on him for prayer. She said, I'm sure he'd be glad to do that. So he got the pastor's name, and in the service announced that we're pleased to have in our service tonight Brother O.C. Simpson from up in Ohio, who's now going to lead us to the throne of grace in a word of prayer. <laughs> so what he didn't realize, this fella really gets into prayer. And he sort of orders God around. You know, he just grabbed the pew in front of him and catapults into prayer. And the whole church kind of did this, you know. <laughs> and he immediately starts, you know, one of these sinister kind of prayers. Oh, God, one of these mornings you're going to wake up and look outside and there's going to be darkness. And the preacher, who's just kind of crazy, goes, oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> gonna call Hong Kong, China, and they're gonna say it's dark over here. Oh, Lord, help us. Gonna call Honolulu, and they're gonna say it's dark over here. And he says, oh, Lord, help us. Well, the whole church is kind of this way, and it's just kind of calling Washington, D.C., calling Seattle. We're calling <laughs> Chicago, and finally he says, hey, we're gonna call, gonna call Indianapolis. And they're going to say, it's dark up here. And old preacher says, oh, Lord, what a phone be all. <laughs> Empty Arnold Hotel. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you allow pets in this hotel? No, sir, but because of the foul weather, you can sleep on the couch in the lobby. <laughs> The duck went cluck and the hen went quack. I will be right back. <laughs> and now, the shop. You ought to see the donuts when they rattle and blow. Look on the ground and the ground like a clown. Watch your step when Lady Jo has a round his toe. The ladies run to holler, hey, let her go. Honey, hey, hey, we can't draw you for the Alabama Jubilee. Ladies and gentlemen, living proof we're an equal opportunity employer. How about a big hand for Lou Chavez?
you got this time. All right, now it's an open and shut case, Your Honor. Gaylord here admits to running off with poor old Laverne's wife. Uh-huh. Well, you got to see for yourself. I, 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 I did it, Your Honor. Well, Don't. since you've owned up to it, I'm going to go easy on you. Well. If it suits the husband, or I'm going to let you go if you'll bring back the man's wife. Uh, hold on a minute, Your Honor. I'd rather that you found him guilty and make him keep the old woman. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I want out. Canella, I got a surprise for you. I'm worth $10 million, and after we married, it's all yours. Well, the engagement's off then. I don't want a husband who's broke. <laughs> Hi, girls. Many meet the Dixie sisters. They're new in town. I'm Pixie Dixie. And I'm Trixie Dixie. Pleased to meet you. They're identical twins. How can you tell them apart? Well, who wants to? Oh, well, y'all got a letter for us. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> but uh, there's only one letter. That's all right. Just tear it in half. Okay. That way we'll each get a letter. All right. <laughs> what does yours say? Like to. Sorry that. Say hello to. You are well. News for now, Uncle Dixie. What does yours say? Well, dear girls, I sure would. Your aunt and me, we all hope. And that's the right soon. Ain't that nice? Best two cotton pig letters we ever got. <laughs> what peculiar girls. Are they married? No. They're both looking for husbands. Last week, one of them finally found an available bachelor. How'd it work out? Not so good. They tore him in half. Oh. <laughs> he hustles my hometown, Nashville, Tennessee. Population 400. 77,811. And he hustles my hometown of Porterville, California, population 21,300. Yeah. Today we take up the word axe. A X. Something you cut down trees with? Absolutely not. It's a question like, uh, look at me, boy. I ask you a question. Now he wants to get directly from the Million Dollar Hee Haw Ensemble Band. On the electric mandolin is Brother Jethro Burns. Chester Atkins is taking up the guitar section. Uh, John Gimbel is on violin section, also sectioned out for section eight. Boots Randolph, Danny Davis, and Floyd Kramer, Charlie McCoy, and our entire Hee Haw band, and we're going to cook it. Thank you. 
now. October 2nd at Opryland. For information, call 1-800-535-0200. Yes, 